Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we take a look at what it takes to cook venison to perfection. We'll also show you how to set up a feeder for your feeding program. And finally, we'll showcase the ultimate workhorse, the Yamaha Wolverine X2. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Cooking venison or any wild game, I, I really think that the field uh, care of it is so important. And, and you know, you can read articles about this. You've heard enough TV show guys and, and podcasters and Facebook people say the same thing, but field care is so key. Uh, being able to get that animal field dressed and cooled down as fast as you can is, is very vital to the, you know, the taste once you get back home. I always laugh when I hear people say, God, I don't like the taste of venison. I'm like, it just wasn't prepared properly or it wasn't taken care of in the field. I mean, I, it is some of the sweetest tasting meat that you're ever going to find. And prepared properly, you're really going to love it once it comes time down to sit at the dinner table. You know, venison jerky um, is, is something, venison sausage is so popular, so many people love. Uh, we enjoy, you know, processing it. You grind it up at, at, you know, like at Clark's Camp. When we go up there, you're grinding it up, put it in a dehydrator, put it in the smokers, um, and, and you can eat it all season long in the field. You can take it out in the boat. I mean, it's just another great way to prepare venison for, for, for usage for long periods of time. And I think it's probably one of the most common ways people that don't understand how good venison is uh, to have it processed. They'll take it to their local processor and do that. But what they're missing out on a lot of times is the fun of actually processing their own meat and, and, and you know how great it tastes when they're done. You know, you can chicken fry it, you can bake it, you can grill it, you can smoke it, you can, I mean, there's so many different ways out there that you can cook venison that it's, it's mind boggling. Um, you know, I love to, to take pieces of venison, wrap it in, in bacon, put it, uh, some cream cheese and jalapenos in there, smoke it for long periods of time in the Bradley smoker. We've taken the back straps out, uh, you know, done the same things. You know, I'll take, you know, different, different cuts and cut it up, drop it in a deep fryer, hamburger for tacos. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with venison when it comes time to prepare it. Uh, just don't overcook it. Cook it slow, don't get it too hot, and I promise you it'll be some of the best eating meat you've ever had. One of our favorite ways to cook our venison is by simply smoking it in our Bradley smoker. We have made dozens of recipes, and each time our wild game has come out cooked to perfection. Hear why Angel loves to smoke venison with her Bradley smoker. Most people make the mistake of overcooking venison, and that's why a lot of people just don't like venison. And with the Bradley smoker, it helps that you know, you just put your meat in there a couple hours at 250 degrees. Uh, you can put anything in there, really. Super juicy, it's going to hold the juices in. And when I use my Bradley smoker for all my wild game, I know it's going to be perfect. Now, sometimes Angel isn't out at camp, but that doesn't mean Wade goes hungry. Let's join Wade as he shows us a quick and easy recipe to cook venison sausage to perfection. You know, in a hunting situation when I'm at camp, I love to you know, make everything as simple as I can because I want to spend most of my time out in the field. When it comes to eating, you want to eat as, as good as you can. You know, I think at my age, I've kind of gotten over the beanie weenies and the uh, pork beans to, to call it a day and like to cook as, as good as we can. And normally Angel's here to, she because she just loves to cook. And you know, she goes to these massive uh, meals, puts them all together, uses the Bradley in a lot of different ways. When I'm here, my goal is just not to make the guy starve. So. Uh, since I'm getting ready to hunt this afternoon, I'm gonna throw some venison sausage in here, and it's so easy to do. You know, I can throw a couple of couple of uh, biscuits in here of, of various flavors. Then all I've got to do is, uh, you know, go throw my venison sausage in. And if you're a deer hunter, everybody loves venison sausage. I mean, that's one of the best parts of, of hunting. You get to kind of process your own, or have somebody else process it. There are so many different ways you can make venison sausage. Then you basically get it ready to go cook. And and a lot of times when we're smoking. Our venison sausage, we'll wrap it in bacon. We might put cheese in there, season it a lot of different ways. Today, I'm just gonna cook it exactly the way we've got it. It's already got a good mixture of, of flavors in here. We'll come home and uh, some guys will wrap it in bread. Some guys will wrap it in the uh, hot dog bun. Some guys will put barbecue sauce on it and eat it just exactly is. But the easiest thing about it is, we're just gonna come in from the hunt. This part, the main course of our dinner, is already done. When we return, we'll check out the latest smart smoker from Bradley Smoker. 
Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brands you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Bradley Smoker has recently launched their new BS1019 Professional Grade Smart Smoker. This world-class bad boy boasts a large cooking area, comes with four racks with space for eight, and a built-in smoke generator for your Bradley flavor biscuits. With precision temperature controls and programmable settings, this will be an unrivaled food smoking experience. We've made a lot of updates to this uh, new smoker. The smoke generator, which makes Bradley very unique, is, is now contained within the unit. It's not on the side. So our bisquet generator here has a, a turntable type action where the pucks come down the feeder tube, it turns, it sits on uh, the burner plate, and of course that's what creates your smoke. We're still only gonna, gonna smoke our bisquets for 20 minutes, then it'll be extinguished. So uh, we continue to have the cleanest and best smoke flavor on the market. What we've added on this unit is a lot of unique capabilities that you can have a download with a USB port right here. And you can download up to 50 recipes and your smoker will react according to right, the program time, the smoke temperature, everything that's on your recipe. So even people who aren't cooks can have a professional result every time. Visit BradleySmoker.com to learn more about the new BS1019 professional grade smart smoker and all of their products. And yes, their smokers even come in a camo pattern. While we are on the topic of camo, let's hear from Wade on the decisions he makes when it comes to picking the right type of hunting clothing. You know, camouflage can be a, a trendy thing seen on the you know, the streets of, of New York City, or it can be an important aspect of a hunting uh, clothing uh, lineup when you get up in the tree stands. I mean, there's no doubt that there's a lot of camo patterns out there that are very successful and they're really going to help you blend in in a lot of hunting situations based on the train, based on the season, and based on the location that you're hunting. And that's how I tend to pick and choose the patterns that I'm going to wear for where I'm going but I really place my focus a lot of times on the functionality of that same camo pattern in the hunting situations. For instance, our early season hunts uh, that we're doing, whether we're in Kentucky or Texas or Kansas or wherever we might be, I want something that's gonna be breathable, that's gonna allow me not to sweat to death in, in those types of situations, because you're already gonna, gonna sweat. Uh, scent control can be a huge key to some of the different types of clothing in those hot weather situations because you are going to sweat while you're out there. Then as the seasons change and things begin to get cooler, you start to look at insulation, you start to look at the functionality uh, of it as it gets even colder, how it's going to keep you warm while you're into different stands or pop-ups or wherever you may be out there. And all of that's really key because if you don't prepare yourself with the right sets of clothing, you're not going to hunt as good. You're not going to hunt as long. You're not going to hunt as focused because you're uncomfortable while you're out there. So pay a lot of attention not only to the camo patterns that are going to help you blend into the hunting situations, but pay attention to the functionality of the clothing that you're wearing in all of those situations because if you're properly dressed and prepared, you're going to hunt better, you're going to hunt more comfortably, which means you're going to be more still you're going to have less chance of having that movement at the wrong time that spooks that buck or the doe you're trying to fill the freezer with. 
One company that's focusing on functional hunting clothing is True Timber Outdoors. Let's see what new products they have for the upcoming hunting season. True Timber is really trying to take clothing to the next level. And you know, this is a, our pulse down jacket, which is just an incredibly versatile coat um, for adding warmth on demand, as we like to say around the office. So for example, I can take this jacket, fold it up in this little pack like this, which crunches down to this size. Um, pops in my pack, so when I'm going in to hunt, sit on a wallow at night in an evening hunt in uh, western Colorado, wear a shirt going in, get in my ground blind or my tree stand, pop this thing out, this coat pops on, and I'm, and I'm good to 30 degrees out. And so this jacket is just another way that True Timber is taking you know, clothing and making it more functional to what people really have going on in the woods, and also really trying to make functional, cutting edge products, extremely affordable in the marketplace. So excited about this garment, it's one of my favorites. Uh, just check it out. When we return, Wade and Michael show us how they pick the right area to place a feeder. Deer Gear is brought to you by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Hi Viz, see what you've been missing. 10 point crossbows, perfection lives here. Stealth Cam, proven. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine. And next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. When they canceled school today, you could have stayed at home like all the other kids, laid up on the couch playing video games in your sweatpants. Nah. Best snow day ever. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. Now let's join Wade and Michael out in the field as they show us their process when picking a location for a feeder and how they set it up to get maximum results. A part of the the fun thing about having a piece of property that you lease or that you own or you've got access to hunt is being able to go out and, and work it and manage it and build a, build a program around it. Uh, where we hunt a lot in Texas, we have to deal with livestock, cattle, sheep, and then you know the invasive species like the pigs getting into the area. So if we want to have a free choice type of a feeding program where we're doing supplemental feed, we've got to build pens. And uh, so what we're doing right now is trying to find a pen area, as we would call it, where we could put uh, both a free choice feeder where we'll put some record rack, either golden nuggets or our, you know, just a traditional protein pellet. And then eventually we'll put a timer feeder in there and, and we'll have it in an area that we won't necessarily be looking at from a hunting area, uh, but we'll have it as an area that kind of keeps deer in, keeps them in good shape in all times of the year. Um, I'm a big believer in a, a feeding program that you can operate 12 months out of the year. Uh, not just the times that you're hunting, um, not just right before hunting season, but I wanna provide some type of nutrition, some type of enhancement all year long. Uh, you know, we may adjust our feed rates, we may even adjust what we're, we're providing for the deer at differing times, but all of that adds up to, you know, a healthier herd, uh, gives the deer more nutrition, more minerals, which could, could allow them to have bigger antlers, which we all like when we're hunting, uh, puts a lot more weight on them. Uh, as well, but it also provides uh, supplemental feed during those stressful times that we can't control where the weather and mother nature changes things. And it could be an extreme drought uh, where all the native forbs are gone and there's nothing for them to forage on and so they'll really hit your feeding programs really hard then. Or it, it, it could be, you know, prior to the rut, just after the rut when you're wanting to bulk them up, you're wanting to help recover real quick. So, you know, when I'm asked a lot of times about when and where, it's 12 months out of the year. 24 hours a day provide something for them and at the end of the day I just want to provide it to the wild game so we're going to fence this off and we'll see what we do and you can kind of watch it go down. 
You know, our concept here is to create something that obviously will keep the undesirables out, like the pigs, the cattle, uh, sheep that get into the, some of these pastures. We're going to use a portable uh, boss buck, non-typical free choice feeder. You know, basically we can stand and fill this on our own. We don't need ladders. We can ease up here, pour it in, anchor it down. The deer can come and eat. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's, you know, man-made food plot, for lack of a better word, without, you know, bringing in everything else around it. Good shady area, good comfortable area. Once you get something like this all built, I mean, you can just imagine the possibilities for every time you go home. I mean, that's how I am. I'm always dreaming about what's, what's coming in, what's happening. Uh, the stealth cams will tell me a lot, but, you know, nothing like sitting in a stand and seeing what direction they finally come in from. We're gonna mix it up to get them acclimated. We're gonna throw some golden nuggets in, which is kind of a hybrid corn protein mix. It's still got good minerals and protein in it. And then we'll put traditional, what you would call a protein pellet in. It just kind of really helps your game management program, I think, get kicked off. You know, a lot of times we'll put this in with some of our corn and our timer feeders. Let's open the buffet. final piece to the menu in here 30 pound record rack deer block it even smells so good I'd eat it Michael's already ate it I think those blocks being a little bit softer might help you out a little bit I do too it's I not do. as hard and yeah. it's not you know you can tell when they've come and eaten on yeah. this thing whether yeah you know it's just I mean, you can look at the inside of it. I mean who wants to you think about a big old jawbreaker when you were a kid you know, you'd get in there and start chewing on that thing. I mean, it tasted good, yeah. but you, it just was hard to. And you, know, you get in here if you're a deer. He's going to get something when he comes to you. He's going to get some of that. I mean, you look at all the corn built in there and all, all the tray stuff. I mean, not only is it nutritious, it'll be good for him. I just... It's got a good smell, too. It doesn't it smell is. like the regular protein that no. you would get from a feed store. I just, I totally agree with you. Them hard, those hard blocks, I just, I wouldn't want to chew on them. No. On hot summer days like this, it's important to stay hydrated and cool. That's where our Ingle coolers come in and play a big role as we always make sure that we have one in the back of our Yamahas when working out in the field. We use a variety of sizes around our hunting and fishing camps at all, all times. You know, from little bitty soft-sided ones that, you know, we can throw a few handfuls of, you know, half a dozen drinks in there, a little bit of ice in there, some snacks in there, all the way up to, you know, full-fledged lunches when we're out for long periods of time and know it's going to keep it good and cold. When you look at the front of our deer camp, there's always a couple of big angle coolers out there. We fill those full of several cases of, of water. You got sodas on one. Maybe the third one there is a little adult beverages for the after hours, you know, celebrations when somebody's been successful. And then when we're done with hunts, I mean, we're hauling a lot of our quartered meat out. It's the same situation for a lot of people that are out there. Well, what I don't want to deal with is cheap coolers anymore. I mean, a cheap cooler that basically the latches fall apart on them, the, the hinges break on them, they don't keep the ice cool for less than 12 hours and you're dealing with water everywhere. Uh, you want to go ahead and get something that's going to, that's basically going to last and stand the test of time. And that's why we started using all of the Engel line of coolers some years ago. I mean, they're durable. They've got a family tradition that stands behind the products. They're always looking for ways to enhance it. Uh, that's why I really am excited about all the soft coolers that are out there now because you can kind of push those and put them in a variety of places. Uh, when we're traveling and staying for multiple days in camps out in the middle of nowhere, that's where everything is, is taken care of. That's where all of our food that Angel cooks a month before and freezes lives. And we know if we're there for five to seven days, the meals that she made are going to still be frozen and they're going to be fresh when it comes time to go cook them. So regardless of what you're looking at or needing or using a cooler for, pay attention to the right ones. You know, a company like Engel, it's designed for us sportsmen, whether you're a fisherman or whether you're a hunter, to give us the features that we need. And for you soccer moms out there that are going to a baseball game, got to keep some Kool-Aid cool, that's the way to go. Deer Gear is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's Master Gunmaker, Bradley Smoker, Food Smoking Made Easy, Record Rack, Serious Nutrition.
exceed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from Tenpoint. So in this episode, we've showed you the newest Bradley smoker. We also showed what goes into working hard to set up a feeding area for deer. But the true workhorse in our camp is our Yamaha Wolverine X2. Wolverine X2 was built, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is built to perform top of class in tight technical terrain. And we're not a lot of times out in tight technical terrain out here. I mean, it likes to go between trees and up over rock because it's compact and it's quiet. You know, quiet 850 twin, you can have conversations, you have the cargo bed. The thing that stuck out for me about the X2, beyond that, beyond the fact that it's still, like all the Yamaha UTVs, travels across this country a lot more comfortably, a lot more quickly than a truck would, is when you get into the muck, when you get into the tough situations, you don't worry about it. We were going out to one stand where we were gonna have to get through a mud hole that had sunk a truck. Like, they had to pull heavy equipment in to get this thing out. And we were worried, oh, when we come up on this, you know, we're probably gonna have to get into four wheel drive, low, diff lock, and I was in high, just let me just slip forward and we just rolled right through. The fact of the matter is, if we'd had a truck, it would have been sketchy. It really would have been sketchy, would have been worried, would have had to probably tear up the roads a lot too. And I don't think a lot of people take into consideration that you you can really work against yourself in trucks in situations when it's mucky, when, when the elements are bad, that you're gonna ruin the roads. Even if you don't get stuck, you're gonna, you're gonna tear them up trying to get through. So the performance of the vehicle for what it's intended, tight technical terrain, quiet, versatile, but also a lot of confidence. And knowing that when you go out with that thing, it's gonna handle your needs, gonna take your gear. You're gonna be able to get yourself and your passenger out there and back, no worries. It's a worry-free component of your hunt. What I really love about Yamaha, what I really love about, I mean, our vehicles. So everyone from the people on our factory line to those, you know, in the, the, the executive positions, we all love what we do. We have a passion for what we do. And that goes into every single facet of, you know, the, the people that we get to know or the products that we do build. It's very cool because we can go down to our factory in Noonan, Georgia, and you know, that's where all of our side-by-sides, all of our full-size ATVs are built. That's for the world. And even those guys, you know, those gals, they're all putting their blood, sweat, and tears into these vehicles. You talk to our testing group, I mean, they want to make sure that when that vehicle comes off the line, when it goes into production, it's going to be proven off-road. You know, you're going to have the confidence to go out there, do what you need to do, get your job done, realize your adventure, and that's whether it is, you know, going out on a successful hunt or, you know, whether it's just going out to, you know, work your farm or going out to, you know, just go out and ride with the family. Um, no matter what your adventure is, Yamaha has the vehicle for you, and we want to make sure that we back it up with the confidence that you have, um, no matter what the case. And we even do things like we just announced a 10-year belt to where you know, we know that our vehicles are so bulletproof that we guarantee you for 10 years you're not going to have any problems with our ultramatic transmission. Learn more about the Wolverine X2 by visiting your local Yamaha dealer or by going online to YamahaOutdoors.com. That will do it for us here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Protect it or lose it. 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 For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing 
but precise. Because precision is everything. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started. That there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills, we have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. God, country, and the great outdoors. That's how my dad raised me. So it was only natural that I joined the United States Army. That's when I first used Trigicon. I used them again as a civilian police officer for 12 years. Now I'm blessed to hunt all over the world, and I only want the best optics on the planet, Trigicon. Dan Catlin, former US Army, military police. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.